I don't know if you can see, but I'm eating cereal with the Tupperware. I was too lazy to wash a bowl. Yeah. It's been that kind of day. Alright, I got a little cold, so I put a sweater on. Uh, one thing, though, for today's vlog, I do want to talk to you guys about Back to the Future. So if you guys don't know, Back to the Future Day is today. It is October 21st, 2015. And if you guys seen Back to the Future Part 2, is this is the day that uh, Marty McFly traveled back in time to save his kids in the movie. So, October 21st, 2015, that's the date today, which is pretty crazy. So when Marty did come back in time from, from the past, uh, back to the future, uh, when he did come back to the future, there's a couple things that they assume was going to be in the future. So one thing I would definitely say is they expected to have flying cars by now and a super awesome hoverboard that if it was actually real, I'd probably have it already. One thing that they did predict was there was going to be drones that was pretty much recording the news. But we did end up getting drones. The only thing is uh, they're not for the news, more like people buy them and they just record random stuff. Which is pretty cool, but drones was a prediction from Back to the Future, what we would have now, and we actually do. So that's actually pretty interesting. One thing I will say, the Nikes that self-lace themselves, that just tie their own shoes, that's actually very, very interesting. And I haven't done too much research on it, but I think it is out there. Uh, Nike did invent this shoe and that's actually pretty cool. So that's what it looks like and I'm not gonna lie, it's it's not the fashion right now but it looks pretty cool. One thing that they almost got right I would probably say would be virtual reality. So Martin McFly had these glasses that you can see other things and what we invented now in this day and age we have Oculus Rift, we have uh, virtu VR, virtual reality, we have a whole lot of things like that you just put on your face and you're able to put yourself in a different situation. You know, you can be on top of a mountain, you can be on a roller coaster, you can be skydiving, you can do anything like that, which is pretty cool, and Back to the Future did get that right. One thing, though, that they didn't really get right was flying cars. So, in the movie, there were some flying cars in the movie, and yeah, I, look, I looked out my window right now, there's no flying cars anywhere. So, there may be some in the making, but yeah, no flying cars anywhere you know, anywhere that I see it. Also, Back to the Future, they also did this video of, you know, what, looking at each other and talking to each other back and forth. I would call it FaceTime, but video chat. So video chat is something that we've had for a while, but it's very new to a lot of us when it comes to your phone. So you can easily see somebody on your phone and they can see you on their phone. So that's actually really, really cool and they almost got it right. Right uh, in the show they have, or in the show, in the movie, they have it on a TV screen, but you can mirror your phone to a TV screen and still see your face, see their face, and everything like that. So they did get that right, which is pretty cool as well. Also, Back to the Future, they had robots that went around the city and picked up trash. So they picked everything up that was trash, and we do have something like that, but that's in our homes. They're called Roombas. So Roombas are what go around little vacuums that pick all the trash up, all the dirt, all the whatever from the ground. And they did have that in Back to the Future movie, which is pretty cool. One thing I am happy that did not come over from Back to the Future was the fashion. I don't see myself wearing helmets everywhere I go. I look like a robot. Yeah, that's, that's something that I really don't think I'd be doing. And I don't think that's the fashion right now because I haven't seen people at least normal people, you know, wearing stuff like that. So yeah, I'm glad fashion did not come over from back in the future. We don't want that. And lastly, one thing that I really wished they would have got right was the Cubs winning the World Series. It was, I don't know how they could imagine it, but they assumed, there's no way they would have known when they first made the movie that they would have been close. Uh, only reason I say that now, they did lose. I wanted to wait till the game was over before I can make the video, but they did lose. So the Cubs did lose their opportunity to go to the World Series. Uh, the Mets swept them four games to zero. Uh, sorry, Cubs. I was actually rooting for you guys. I was rooting for the Cubs for a couple things, you know, for this prophecy or whatever, which is pretty funny, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, fortunately, you guys did lose. Sorry, Cubs. Uh, but that's one of the biggest ones that I was actually looking forward to. Like, if it was actually true, it was going to be that. Uh, unfortunately, no, Cubs, next year, 
hopefully we'll see all right so that is it for my vlog today i didn't really do much today i really want to talk to you guys about back to the future day which is pretty really interesting how they got some things right and some things not exactly right so that's my vlog for the day and uh, today was my day off of work i didn't really do much uh i just caught up on a lot of shows and a lot of sleep as well sleep has been very very fun so i miss that i miss sleep uh, other than that though guys that's it thank you guys for watching my vlogs if you guys haven't subscribed or if you guys like the video click the like button and uh if you guys haven't subscribed like i said subscribe you guys can be Part of this uh, magic, movie magic.